Why do molecules in a cylinder, a balloon, or any container exert equal pressure on all walls? Why don't they press harder on one wall and softer on another? By the way, if this happened, the container with the gas would begin to move in the direction of higher pressure. But we don't observe such phenomena in nature or daily life. For example, an inflated balloon in calm weather does not move on its own. The answer to this question is simple. Gas molecules distribute evenly throughout the container's volume. But then we're left with another question. Why? How do the molecules know to spread out evenly within the container? How do they agree among themselves? Why don't they ever settle with, say, two-thirds of all molecules in one quarter of the volume and the remaining third in the other three quarters? In this computer simulation, we set random initial positions and random velocity values for particles within a certain range. Here, as you can see, the points also somehow agree with each other and don't, for example, gather in the bottom right corner of the rectangle. Instead, they spread out evenly. How do they do this? The answer to this question is also fairly simple because an even distribution is the most likely outcome. But again, we face the same question, why? To find the answer, let's simplify by taking four molecules and calculating the number of possible ways they can distribute between the two halves of a container to identify the most likely arrangement. We'll consider the molecules distinguishable, meaning that if, for example, one half of the container holds three particles and the other holds one, rearrangements between the halves represent distinct states. The arrangement three and one is called a macrostate, while the different ways it can be realized are microstates. The number of microstates realizing each macrostate is called its statistical weight. Thus, there are five possible macrostates when distributing four particles between the two halves of a box. Four and zero, three and one, two and two, one and three, to zero and four. Now let's calculate the statistical weight for each macrostate. The number of ways each distribution between the two halves of the box can be realized. 4 and 0 can be achieved in only one way, 3 and 1 in 4 ways, 2 and 2 in 6 ways, 1 in 3 in 4 ways, just like 3 and 1, 0 in 4 in 1 way, like 4 and 0. So there are a total of 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1 or 16 microstates when distributing 4 molecules between the two halves of a container. Now let's find the probability of each macrostate by dividing the number of microstates that can realize it by the total number of all microstates. The probabilities for each distribution are. As we can see, the state with the highest probability is 2 and 2, meaning an even distribution between the halves of the box. Incidentally, this state also has the highest entropy. The least likely distribution is 0 and 4, or 4 and 0. To illustrate this, let's summarize in a table. The result we obtained can be generalized to the distribution of any number of molecules between two halves of a container. As the number of molecules increases, the probability of an uneven distribution sharply decreases, and for quantities on the order of 10 to the power of 20, the approximate number of air molecules in a cubic centimeter, it becomes practically zero.